you guys have been so fun to work with and so open, you're so willing to try anything, and I sometimes enjoy working with women more than men sometimes, just because you're... <laughs> you know you're on yeah. tape, right? Yeah. <laughs> the one thing that we want to do is, is spotlight women in, in this story and the importance of women in this story because Jesus, it seems like there were key moments in his ministry where he specifically chose women to be a, a, a vital part of it. Like the first person he... It publicly acknowledged himself as the Messiah too was the woman at the well and obviously the first person to see Jesus after he resurrected was Mary Magdalene and she uh, she got to tell the boys um, and of course Mother Mary is is you know has a pretty big role in this whole thing uh, and you know the, the giving birth part was seemed to be a just, just yeah, a little, little, little contribution but the women at that time didn't have prosperous careers there wasn't a significant um, role in society. The role was kind of um, within, the, within, the, within the team. What, what's the experience been portraying women of this, of this first century and kind of identifying both their struggles but also the, the win that came from, from following Jesus? I haven't experienced feeling outside of the group. Mm -hmm. And even in season one, I felt like immediately like there, there were no gender roles in, in a lot of those scenes. Mm -hmm. I was up front with Andrew walking up to the well. In, in the dialogue, no mm -hmm. one's asking me, am I married? No one's asking me where my father is. Like the, the focus is not on who are you as a woman in connection to these men. It's just you're part of this group. So who are you as a human? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But I do think that like as more women join the group, mm -hmm those gender sort of dynamics are starting to, to be a little bit more traditional, I've noticed in season two, of like, we are the ones that, that cook the food and bring the food and... The women are the, the ones handling the food and cooking and cleaning and whatnot, but it's still for us important to, to see that, even that, as, a, as an important role in the ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, like as a, we're all contributing and um, it's not like the men are, are, are like just sitting down, relaxing and taking naps while the they're women are doing They're building things, they're <laughs> chopping wood, they're, they're putting up the tents. Like, uh, like I think, I think, and you guys have done, I mean, I haven't seen the edit yet, but you know, there will be montages of like showing everything that everyone does. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone puts in so much work into, into the ministry. But other than that, I like how the dialogue, the, the scenes aren't about Right. any discrepancies between genders. It really is about personalities. It is about character arcs. And mm -hmm. again, like Matthew and Simon coming to, to find me and take me back, it wasn't about me being a woman. It was about like, you belong in this group, you know, which is nice. Yeah. I think what comes to my mind all the time is, I wonder why, how that must have felt. It's not really, it doesn't really annoy me because it, I feel like, well, that's the reality back then. I'm, I am telling the story of a first century woman. So I, there are certain things that I could do and there's certain things that I couldn't do that weren't allowed. But I wonder how that must have felt. And I, it's hard for me as a 21st century woman to, to know how I would have looked at a man. Because the way I'm looking at you might not have been, would I've had my, my head a little lower? Um, would I be looking at you straight into your eyes or maybe just for a second and then turn away? Like how would those um, uh, behaviors or, or uh, uh, um, relationships um, must have been? I, you know, it's, it's hard for me to imagine. And I was also um, thinking how, you know, there, there's very little on the Bible that comes from a female perspective. So it's hard to know what they must have been feeling, how, even how they uh, saw the Messiah, you know, through a women's perspective. Uh, and so that's what triggers my imagination more than, oh, now I'm like, have to be cooking, <laughs> and, you know, because that was, that, was, that was how it was back then. I keep going back in my head when Jesus tells Eden, like, you have a role to play in all of this. That can be said now, you know, um, we have a role to play in whatever we want to 
be or where we want to be, um, there's something for us. And even back then, that's how Jesus saw things. And it's still the same today. That meant a lot, that scene with Jesus in Eden where he comes to her specifically when no one else is around. And it's he comes and he, he's looking at her in the eyes and he says, you know, I, I see you. And you're... That after, means everything. after we filmed that yeah. that scene, I walked out and the, produ the producers were at the monitors, and they said we, they were all like calling their wives, going, "I see I you, see. <laughs> I see you. Like, I'm sorry I miss if you I haven't seen you." <laughs> I see you. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Power, power of filmmaking. Yeah. 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 Well, I uh, it's been honestly a, a thrill for me in this project to explore the role of women in the ministry of Jesus and to do it in a different way. I think it's one of the things that when people say, what's different about The Chosen from <clears throat> other Bible projects? And we talk about the dialogue and how we're trying to explore the humanity. But for me, honestly, one of the top five things that I've really enjoyed about it is is exploring the the, the role of women in that time and in the ministry and how it's unique and how it actually made Jesus's ministry stand out. Sometimes people were like, what are you doing? In the scene at the woman at the well, uh, when the, the Bible says that when the disciples came back and they saw he's with a woman at the well and they're going, what the heck is this? They didn't say anything, but they were all kind of wondering about it. And so there's opportunities to actually spotlight that and have it be a natural part of the story of how unique it was that Jesus went against convention a little bit. And... Uh, I'm so also just so grateful for the cast for, for the casting, which my wife had a big hand in, but you guys have been so fun to work with and so open, you're so willing to try anything. And I sometimes enjoy working with women more than men sometimes. Just you. And you know you're on yeah. tape, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they won't watch this. Maybe they'll cut it out. Let's just watch it. I'm talking to some women, they don't they they won't care. They're not gonna watch it. Yeah. <laughs> you're safe. Yeah, exactly.